Let me show you how I customize my Linux terminal to go from this to this, where I have the nice git completion. And if I look for a folder, it shows me all the files inside, which is awesome. And if I have a really long command, it remembers it and I can just get it back real easily. So this is how you set all that up. So first things first, you're going to install ZSH, which you do by copying this curl command here and then just pasting it in. And this installs your ZSH. Then it asks if you want to change your default shell, say yes, enter your password, and you got ZSH. And it already looks a little bit different. Next, navigate to a place where you have a project, and look at that, you get Git. Automatically it just works. And that's because this is a plugin that's in the ZSH config file. Now if we take a look at this file, you can see there's a lot of things we can change, like the theme, I like the cloud theme. And if we keep scrolling down, we'll get to a section that says plugins. And you can see there's a Git plugin here. And the other one we want to add is ZHS Auto Suggestions. But before we can actually use ZSH Auto Suggestions, we have to install it, which we can do here by copying this clone command from GitHub and pasting it into our terminal. And now we just need to source our ZSHRC file, which basically reloads the shell. And now you can see we've got our new theme and we've got the type ahead. So if we have some really long command that we've typed before, all we have to do is start typing that command again and it's back. And that's how you set up your terminal.